My cookie. Yeah, you can have it. Look at all that crazy cookie dough. Good work. All right, ladies and gents. Where's it going on? Okay. I've been thinking of starting an alternate blog where I can really dish the real dish of background stories to stuff that I can't get into on the blog. Um, <laughs> because there are times where, like, the stuff I would benefit most from blogging about is the very stuff I cannot blog about. But, since I've already burned these bridges, I can blog about this. <laughs> oh, here's the deal. Let me just say right now. I do not know if any of Mr. F's family reads the blog or anything anymore. I honestly got no, no insight into that. We have zero communication with them anymore. And so, at this point, I guess... I know some people will be like, of course they're reading it. How could they not? I don't know. I mean, I honestly don't know if they do or not. They've all, you know, I don't know. But at this point, if people are reading it, you're reading it at your own risk. We have no relationship. Um, <laughs> whatever you glean from this is, you know, your own responsibility, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I hope Does that makes sense to everyone. I, that's kind of where I have to be at with it. If you don't know the background, I'm sure you could easily find out. Go back to my blog about April, May 2007 and you will, the whole thing will unfold for you. But here's the, what's going on. It has been, I think it's been just about 11 months since their trip to Michigan. That's the last time the kids have seen them. Um, I think uh, they have sent a few things to the kids since then. Um, I don't know that maybe the kids have talked to them one time on the phone, maybe back in the fall. And there's been no, no real communication and no effort to set anything up, see the kids, no suggestion that they want to see the kids, no, We're trying to find a way to work it out, nothing, you know, no moving forward, let's say that. Um, so that's pretty much where, it, where it's at. And I just do want to say for the record of, I don't know, that Mommy. there's no part of me that is Mommy. keeping my children away from their grandparents. Um, it, this is solely a situation that relies on the development of a relationship and communication between Mr. F and his own parents. And the longer this goes on, I have to say, the more, not vindicated, I guess, but the more, um, I felt, I am generally a fixer and I felt guilty that, you know, I obviously lent towards the explosion of a problem, while I do not think that what I did individually caused the problem, it did not. If there hadn't been a problem, it wouldn't have happened. Um, <laughs> um, I am, the longer this goes on, the more I'm letting myself off the hook for this one because um, it is just so clear how messed up their relationship is that like this has not resolved and there's been no way to resolve it. And no effort to resolve it and basically at this point, there's been no contact between either of them for, I don't know, now it's been, I think they've maybe in the past year spoken three times, maybe, and there has been no communication in the last four months. <coughs> and, over that, and um, I think... You know, I don't know. You know, the last thing that we did was the Christmas exchange with the cousins, and, uh, you know, we sent stuff to every single one of the cousins on that side, and um, that was not reciprocated by most of the families. I think maybe only one family. I don't remember. Uh, I tried to say that. But there's been no communication. So, um,. I actually don't know if the stuff we sent was ever received or whatever. You know what I mean? Not that I'm going to hold that to anybody because I don't think that Mr. F... Ig no, that's not true. He did acknowledge what was received. So, maybe I, maybe I can hold people. 
Um, I gotta find, where's that little pan? I gotta get some noodles going for you, huh? Yeah. Um, yes. So, basically, what I'm saying now is it has been a long time, no communication, and I guess at this point I feel pretty, like, what happened happened because things were messed up, so, you know what I mean? And, um, sorry if I shed some light on that in a personal slash public setting, but it doesn't change it from its reality, and obviously people got upset because it was true. Um, and I think now, at this point, I'm just going to say, I have lost a lot of respect for his parents. I have. I know you're thinking you didn't have a lot of respect for them to begin with. That's not true. When I first met them, I didn't have, I didn't come into it prejudiced. Um, it's just things just never really went in a smooth fashion. Um, and dudes, I mean, I think the longer this goes, the more clear it is that they have got some issues. I mean, some serious issues. I can't imagine not seeing my grandkids for, you know, a year with no effort to see them or anything, yet making an effort to, to have a weird intervention, you know, with my son, but not seeing my own grandkids. I don't know. I just think it's fucked up, personally. Okay. So the point of all this is, is we're going north. We're going near there. <laughs> and we're not going to see them. And that's not even, honestly, I just, I've never made the statement to Mr. Ruff, like, you can't take the kids to see them, ever. Like, I would never stand in the way of a relationship, ever. He's not going to take them, has no desire to take them. And I, honestly, it kind of has a little bit of, like, spiteful joy in not taking them. You know, so, I mean, obviously he's been hurt. Let's just say that. He's been hurt. And who wouldn't be hurt by this crazy? You can close that. So, no t communication, no effort to see the kids, which I would not stand in the way of. Obviously, I feel like if it were me, if or you know whatever, I can't imagine not calling my son and being like, "How can we make this work? What can we do? Like, could we come down and stay at a hotel?" And you know, I don't have to be part of it. But there's been no effort to work around a problem, which I have to say, like, I deal with this with Mr. F on his own. It's obviously part of their family culture, but um, that is frustrating, for sure. Um, and I think I spent the first ten years or so trying to find a way to help people work around potential problems, and no one wants my help, and no one wants to work around problems. Everyone wants to be, everyone wants to act like, or when I say everyone, for sure, his parents. And I have to say this is the part where I have lost respect for them. <coughs> They want to say, like, we're so heartbroken by this, like, you know, we miss our grandkids, we wish we had a relationship. It's like, no, but that's not doing anything to fix the problem. You, if you're so heartbroken, then pick up the phone, or get in the car, or be motivated to do something, and um, to communicate, you know. Like, I don't feel sorry for you anymore, because how heartbroken can you possibly be to just be sitting there paralyzed doing nothing? You know, only making the situation worse by inaction. So, you know, at this point I'm pretty frustrated with that whole thing. I'm just done. I'm done. And at this point, of, it's gone so long without contacting the kids that I have to say, I said to Mr. Ruff the other day, at this point, I'm not even comfortable with them now. Like, I don't even want them to... I mean, I know this sounds hypocritical, but, like, I was open to this for a really long time. At this point, I'd really think it's... I don't know that it's in my kids' best interest to have somebody call them and then not ever see them or make any effort to see them. Well, like, kid is aware that they have not seen her in a long time and that there's no plans to do it. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's hurtful and um, confusing. You, you need a wooden spoon? Okay. This one? This one? You need that one? Does this make sense to people? At some point, I feel like um, they would have to earn some trust back before um, with some, I think, consistency of contact. And I think maybe at this point there needs to be a real conversation between Mr. F and his parents about how things would work before I want the kids to be um, involved. 
you know, like I want to know that there's not going to be a whole bunch of this wacky, um, whatever, back and forth and not doing anything, you know, weird, passive-aggressive parenting strategy. Not down, not down. Oh, all right, check, check.